I came from the Dominican Republic when I was three. I grew up in Washington Heights, where I grew up. You definitely had to have some street smarts. Oh, what's up, mama? My block was my family. I could not be who I am if it wasn't for what happened on this block. To roots. When I was younger, I would do magic on the street corner. I used to sit here for hours practicing card tricks. There is no magic shop in Washington Heights. All I used for my magic tricks was anything I could get my hand on. Smooth, do that trick, do that trick with the matches. One of my fondest memories growing up is watching Cheers with my dad. When I was about 16, I was sneaking to the neighborhood bar and just started doing magic. My parents had zero clue that I was even leaving the house. I was like, Houdini, gone. <laughs> if I know that at that time, he would be in trouble. He lucky that I didn't know that. <laughs> I joined the Marine Corps at the age of 21. Right after boot camp, they sent me directly to Kuwait. And during our downtime, I would do magic to all the guys, and it, it totally helped me perfect my craft from doing magic on the street corner. Fast forward 26 years, and now I'm performing for millions of people. <laughs> That's big. We both very proud of him. Very, very proud. I always dream big. I have no idea where this dream is gonna take me. How you guys doing tonight? You having a good time? Tonight, I want to do a magic trick with something that all of us are familiar with. Some cold hard cash. Not a lot, but you know, just enough for the trick. Just a bunch of ones. Now, Mo, I know it's a big night for you. A lot of uh, tension, a lot of people here. Don't get nervous, okay? Let me see your hands. I won't be nervous. Try not to, right over here. But for some reason, ones do not look cute on you. How about that? Whoa! Stop it! Did you see that change? Did you see that? See, because you, you can't buy shoes with a bunch of ones. It's impossible. I don't know if the audience saw it. It changed like that. From ones to hundreds. Just now, like... you, you guys are parents, Whoa, right? come on! <laughs> we like that. I right. love that. Well, you guys are parents, right? Yes. When I had my first child, I realized something very quickly. That for every hundred that I thought I had, I honestly had half. Whoa! How do you do that? I can't Three see. weeks ago, I seriously had a pair of beautiful twins, boy and girl, so even half of that is actually wow. gone. Wow! It changed into a toy! I have a beautiful lady that I have to please, and then um, she takes about half of that. Oh! <laughs> oh my God. And of course, Uncle Sam has his two cents, and I'm actually broke at and the end of the day. And then it disappears. <laughs> <laughs> it's everybody's <laughs> dream to be able to manipulate money, especially hundreds. And there's a lot of ways to figure out if you have a real money, a uh, real hundred or a fake hundred in uh, Howard. You know a lot about hundreds, right? Absolutely I do. Yeah, yeah, but you do. The first way you can realize if a hundred is real or not is by the touch. The second one is by the watermark, right about here. The third is the holographic strip. But the last but not least, the most iconic way to know if you have a real hundred or not is the uh, federal seal right here. Watch. No. Shut up. No! How do you do that? Wait, you moved that? I, I want you to check that? it out. Check it out. Scratch it. I'm, I'm Is it real? It's, it's real. It's on. It's attached. <laughs> Hot. Is there anything fishy? Show them out. Is there no, anything fishy in I, it? I can see Look, it. I'm right, right there. I'm showing the people who vote. Well, they, well Howie. It's amazing. Well, Howie. OK. <laughs> what about this? How you like that? Say oh hi to Zoe. Oh my God. Thank you very much, guys. Where were you keeping that? It's <laughs> weird. <laughs> wow. Yo, what's up, YouTube? Hey, welcome to the AGT page. Now click right there to subscribe or to watch more videos.